Hello and good morning everyone. It is a beautiful day in New York. I have three days left here and today I'm gonna to do something that I've been waiting to do since the first day that I got here and that's clothes shopping for the kids. So we have about 30 kids that I'm shopping for today. Mostly the big kids because that's the clothes that's really hard to find back in Rwanda. So I'm going to a shop called Goodwill and Goodwill I think is very fitting for what I'm doing because it's a charity. It's a secondhand clothing store where people donate clothes and then they sell the clothes in their store and the proceeds go to charity. So that's where I'm going to be buying the clothes. Um, I actually shopped at Goodwill a year and a half ago when I was here for the kids and most of the clothes that I got then are still being worn by the kids which is pretty amazing because that's really good quality. Most of the clothes don't last at all. So what I'm hoping to find today is mostly like pants, like shorts, basketball shorts, maybe some nice jeans for the bigger kids and some like sturdy shirts. So like sports shirts, things like that, jerseys, that stuff's all good. Um, that's it really. Yesterday I bought some underwear and some socks for the kids, new of course. Um, so I will show you that when I get home, but today that's pretty much what I'm trying to find. Maybe I'll find some other nice stuff. That's the great thing about Goodwill. You never know what you're going to find. They have all different kinds of stuff. So we're going to go there. On the way, of course, I'm going to stop at my favorite coffee shop, Dunkin' Donuts, and get a coffee. See? Good as ever. And we have arrived. This is the store. And over there, there's the place where you drop off like donations and stuff. And we just realized that there's like some big sale today, green tag sale. So I hope it's not too crowded. I mean, there are quite a lot of cars, but it doesn't seem too crowded. Wow, so this is the store. Yee. All right, so what does the sale mean, Mom? Green tag. Oh, there, it says green tag is 40% off. So that means anything that has a green tag is 40% off, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try and find our way to the children's section somehow. Oops, sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so excited. There's some great stuff here though. Suits and stuff. <laughs> and, oh, I see kids. You see kids? Yes. All right, let's make our way to the kids. Here it is. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, mm, I'm just gonna grab a shopping cart, look around a bit and try and like find the area where we're gonna find the most stuff. Hey everyone, so I was very excited coming here. I've been planning this for a while. Um, the last time I came to a Goodwill store was actually not in New York, it was in Arizona. And it was a huge, huge store and they had this sale and everything was for like $2 and we found just amazing stuff. And I walked into this store and it was smaller um, and the sale they had was not the same. <laughs> and it was like 40% off but it wasn't on the children's clothes and when we looked at the prices it was almost just like buying new clothes and more importantly the clothes were really not that great i guess we just came at a bad time maybe sometimes there's better clothing than others other days but today there was just really not great stuff like not really any basketball shorts just very large sizes like we were looking at like just men's stuff maybe for the big boys because the children's stuff wasn't on sale and everything was huge so what we're gonna do now we are at like an outdoor shopping mall here there's a lot of stores so there's a few stores here there's a new store that I saw the other day that had some you know some sports stuff at good prices so I want to look there for the big boys because like I said the big boys are really the hardest ones to shop for we have about eight of them that are like in their teens and finding clothes for them in Rwanda is really difficult and the clothes they have there are really expensive so that's that's the sizing I want to look for today so we're gonna go to that store so I was really disappointed with Goodwill but I am hopeful and I'm not gonna give up and we're gonna find the clothes for the kids and that's how our day is gonna end 
All right, guys, so this is the store we found, and there's actually some really great stuff here. So for the bigger boys, I found stuff like this. It's more expensive than we usually spend, but I figure, why not? I love them, and we're in America. So I got them these. They're actually, like, really good brands. This is Fruit of the Loom, if you know it. It's pretty good quality. Mama. So for example, yes, hi, wow. This is $7.99, and I think this will last for a good time. So what's great about our boys is that we can give them just like one of each and they all share together the stuff. <laughs> Joni is calling me. Wow, is that cool? She's watching something on the phone. So I got them like three pants here, like sweatpants and stuff like that. And then I found two pairs of jeans. So this is the only small size I could find, $5.99. This is actually cheaper than the secondhand store that we were at, so I'm so glad that we came here. I got this too, $5.99. I think the boys are going to love this. So we have some basketball shorts. I just got them in different sizes. They can mix and match. These ones I think are $4. So again, cheaper, if not the same price as a secondhand store. So I'm very happy about that. Found them two belts. And I got as a treat for each of them, their own USA shirt. They're all like different styles, but they say the same thing. So we have five of them here. This is the smallest size they have. So I only got five of them for the bigger boys. So like age 15, 16, 17. So we're gonna go and pay for this now and then we're gonna head over to another store right down here I think called Marshalls which is like one of my favorite stores so they have all like different brands and different kinds of things that they sell at discounted prices so we're gonna go and check that out we have finished shopping so we found just the most amazing things at Marshalls and <laughs> this might be shocked but I really I just bought a lot of stuff for the kids we have one two three four bags so I bought stuff for most of like the bigger kids so I want to say like from around like age 10 because the younger kids I mean really we just find like amazing stuff back in Rwanda if you want you can check out a video I made where we went to a market and bought the kids some clothes but for the bigger kids like I've said a bunch of times it's just really really difficult to find so I found amazing stuff such great quality like shirts, pants, shorts, different things like that. So when I get home, because obviously we're outside now, I'm gonna take all this stuff out of the bags and I'm gonna show you everything. I wanna see again what I got because it's so much I don't even really remember. But I'm really excited, I'm happy. I know this isn't how we planned the day to be, but I'm happy that it turned out this way. So we are here at P.F. Chang's. We stopped to eat something. For those of you who don't know, P.F. Chang, P. F. Chang's, is it like an Asian fusion place? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It has all different kinds of food, mostly Asian food. And me and my mom got a pad thai, which is noodles, and a sweet and sour chicken. And we're kind of just like sharing it. And then Joni got this meal, which is just ginormous. <laughs> I don't know how any child or baby can finish it. It is like a kid's meal. So she's eating. Sort of. Kind of. Joe, you want to try chicken? Try chicken. You like it? Mm, so good. Are you dancing? Yeah, <laughs> dancing, 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 dancing. Oh, this food is so good. I have to find a place that has food like this in Rwanda. I have to. I'm gonna ask my dad. My dad eats out a lot of restaurants in Kigali and stuff. Maybe he'll know. But anyway, we're gonna eat up all this food and then we're gonna take all of the stuff we bought home. Mom and Joni are gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna try and organize <laughs> all of the stuff that. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe Joni's not a fan of Asian food. <laughs> Joni, it's not funny. Hey, sweetheart. That's the problem. When you laugh at a baby doing something that's not okay, like they'll think it's okay and they'll just do it again and again. Anyway, so we're gonna eat. Mm. Guys, this is so good. Mm. I am back. We have finally arrived and I'm gonna now show you all the things that I got though I did have a thought on the way that maybe the kids will watch this video before I come back and then it's not gonna be a surprise so I'm not gonna show you every single thing I'm just gonna kind of show you in groups what I did get so 
because we live in an apartment building, it is very difficult to bring everything back upstairs. So we have this wagon. So all this stuff ooh, is in this wagon. So I'm gonna show you kind of what we got here. All right, let's start with the first bag. There's four of these bags. So we got like these four packs of shirts, just regular shirts for the boys. Then I have these like fun shirts that I don't want to show you because I'm scared they're gonna watch, but because I really want to see their reaction. But I do have a bunch of shorts. So we have one, two, three, and again, they're in all different sizes. So I'm assuming they're gonna fit the kids from about 10 years all the way to 16, 17 years old. Here I have another box of like tanks for the bigger boys. They can use it and wear it under their uniform and stuff like that. More shorts, some longer sweatpants. Just this sweater, it was really on sale, guys. Okay, I will show you this one. I was like in shock. So it's a really nice brand. And here we have this like sweater, outdoor, Colorado outdoor apparel. And it was super on sale from $29.99 to $4. So I got this just in case one of the boys is like going somewhere at night or I don't know, it's cold out, they can share it. I couldn't get more of them just because we don't have a lot of space in the suitcase and it's heavy. They're just shorts, amazing shorts. They were great deals. More shorts, more shorts. <laughs> just in all different colors. And they're all, I mean, even if they're a little big, they can, they have like the adjustable waist here so they can make it smaller. But I did for the pants that are not like sweatpants, they're like actual pants, I did get them belts so they can tighten them with the belts. Then moving on to another bag. Here. Oh, here we have shirts. No, it's <laughs> another pair of shorts. All right, here we have shirts. So I just got these really cool shirts like t-shirts very good material the kind of the t-shirts we get for them really in the village they're not that great they don't last that long because we hand wash everything and dry it outside in the sun so i figured these shirts would be much stronger material so we have more shirts and more shirts and <laughs> more shirts guys I went a little crazy, but I just never get to shop like this for the kids, so I was super excited. Even like long sleeve, kind of like warmer shirts if it gets cold, t-shirts. Then I got them these like two packs of sweats. These are a little smaller, so I'm assuming they'll also fit some of the younger kids. And when I say younger, I mean like maybe 12 years old. They're Reebok. They're very good quality. Oh, and another, there goes the pen, another set of sweats. And they're all different colors. So the boys are going to all share together. Another project I'm doing when I get home this summer is I really want to reorganize the houses, organize their stuff. I know a lot of the kids don't live with me, but we do keep their stuff at our house. So they'll come and they'll shower and change and put on their clothes and stuff like that. And when it's school time, they'll change and put their uniform. So I do want to keep all this stuff there. So we're going to be reorganizing. We're going to be making new shelves and just doing all that. So stay tuned. We're going to be taking videos of that. Oh, another bag. Wait, <laughs> this is this is not for the kids. This is something else. This was for a few things I got for Bob's, for Joni, and I think even shoes for me in there. Ooh. I got something for myself, guys. Ta-da! The last bag. This one is heavy. So this one was from that first, the second store I went to. Um, the kind of discounted sports clothing store. So let's see what we have. So for example, I got these sweats for the boys. They're Fruit of the Loom, which is a great company here. They do great, like underwear and socks and undershirts and stuff like that. And... $7.99 was the cost of this. So I got sweats. I might have showed you guys this in the store, but I'm gonna show you again because I'm excited. 
I got these shorts. These will be great for the younger boys, like 10 years old. I got two like this. And then I got two like this. So they say small, but they're a little big. So we can share, mix and match. And then I got these two pairs of jeans. There we go. So these jeans were $5.99. And the same as these, they were $5.99. So they can fit some of the smaller kids. Oh, and these shorts, just for reference, were $3.99. Then, oh, I got them these belts. They were $3.99 each, just so they can have these sweats here. I really thought the boys would like this for some reason. I just thought they looked really cool. These were $9.99. And, oh, and of course, I showed you guys the t-shirts that I got for them in the store, the USA t-shirts. I'm not going to show them again because they are a gift, so I don't want them to be surprised. I want them to be surprised. Although, I'm not entirely sure if they will see this video or not, but we'll see. All right, and the last pair of pants I got were these. I just thought they were really cool because they have the lines on the side and they kind of like that and they even have a zip at the bottom so great for playing sports we have our boys are very athletic so we have some boys that play bas basketball and volleyball and we have a lot of boys that play soccer even some that are playing soccer for the school team so that's why i thought like this summer these clothes would be perfect i also have some basketball some soccer balls and volleyballs that I purchased that are inflated and I'm gonna try and find a way to deflate them so they can fit in my suitcase. Um, I think I'm just gonna like buy a pump and stick the needle in and just kinda try and suck the air out. But if you guys have any better ideas, then definitely let me know because I am not bringing fully deflated basketballs in my suitcase. That would be really, really not smart. So I think that's it guys. I am now going to go upstairs. I'm actually in just this kind of casual room for the building that we're in just a room where you can come and chill and I usually come here and just edit the videos or whatever I'm doing just to get some quiet time um but I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to try and pack these pack this and it's very stressful so as I mentioned in my other video flying to Africa you get two bags like two um what's it called checked in bags right and one of the bags I have is already full of like mine and Bob's stuff that I got for him and some of Joni's stuff. And another bag is halfway full with some of the toys and gifts that I've got for the kids. It's just this big like duffel bag that doesn't weigh a lot. But I am going to try and fit the rest of this stuff into that bag. And then I'm going to weigh it because these bags are not allowed to exceed 23 kilos. And if they do, they're horrible. They'll make you pay like $150 for overweight charge, which sucks. If for some reason I can't fit all of this stuff into those two suitcases, I will have to get an extra suitcase, which is $200. It's ridiculous. But if I have no choice, I have no choice. There's That's the only way to get things back to Africa. But I'm hoping it's not going to get to that situation. So anyway, guys, I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. This video was super exciting for me to film and I know that it did not go at all the way I planned. I planned this, you know, very specifically for a long time to go to the Goodwill store. That's a charity store and it kind of felt good that I would be buying from there. But guys, they really didn't have anything. They had nothing, nowhere as good as the things that I found. The things they have were really old, not great quality. And maybe I just came out a bad day, but it's not things I wanted to give to the kids. So that's why I ended up buying new and this is the first time we've really bought all new things for the kids and you guys when I show them this and I will take a video it will bring tears to your eyes they're gonna be so so happy and that makes me so happy so it was definitely worth it definitely worth the money spent the best money I've spent so far for sure so my point is you can plan whatever you want and you can think things are gonna go the way you plan but really rarely they do. And most of the time it's for the best because now we just got these awesome clothes for my awesome kids. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you wanna support us and our kids, I am gonna lay, leave a link below to our GoFundMe. It is for our nursery. Um, 
So if you want to support us, then you can leave a donation there and we will so greatly appreciate it. 100% of the proceeds go towards the cause and towards the kids. See you on the next one.